Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Wearing a seatbelt while riding in a vehicle is universally considered to be the first step of car safety, but some Americans are legally not obligated wear one. In 1984, New York became the first state to pass the seatbelt law required everybody to wear one and soon after most other states followed suit, making it the most successful security campaign ever run in the U.S. But the state of New Hampshire has never implemented this safety law for adults and only has one for those under 18. According to Governor's Highway Safety Association, neither a primary nor a secondary seatbelt law is set in place for adults in the state. People in New Hampshire are asked to only follow a primary child passenger safety law that covers minors. According to this law, those below the age of 7 and shorter than 57 inches must be secured by an approved restraint system such as a booster seat while those between the ages of 7 and 18 need to be buckled up. A bill to make seatbelt wearing mandatory in the House of Representatives was reportedly shot down in 2009 as opponents said it is not the government's place to force citizens to wear a seatbelt, according to the The New Hampshire Public Radio. They also argue that primary seatbelt laws give law enforcement an excuse to stop motorists even if no other infraction has been committed, which could increase minority profiling. Americans in other states have also begun to follow suit and refuse to wear seatbelts, despite it being a requirement by state law. Over 1,900 Minnesota drivers and passengers who were not wearing seatbelts were pulled over by officials during a two-week seatbelt enforcement period that ended last week. According to the Minnesota Department of Public Safety, this was a huge improvement from last year's 2,400 citations. Last year, 84 unbelted motorists died in crashes on state roads, according to preliminary data from the department. In 2022, 87 people who were not wearing seatbelts died while about 110 passed away in 2021, according to the Star Tribune. These numbers have not deterred those who are against wearing seatbelts. According to the South Lake Minnetonka police, a driver they once pulled over for not wearing a safety belt said, if I'm meant to die, I'll die. Recent death-causing incidents have also shown how important it is to buckle up while driving. In September 2023, a baby girl died when the BMW her dad was driving crashed and she was flung from it after he failed to put her in a baby seat or even secure her with a seatbelt. The horror smash that killed the infant, named only as Nyla Online, happened in Goodyear, Arizona, on the afternoon of September 17. The 30-year-old driver, her father Larry, was taken to hospital with life-threatening injuries. Maricopa County Sheriff's Office told AZ family that there was no car seat found in the vehicle and neither had been wearing seat belts at the time. Family wrote, Hello everyone, it is with a heavy heart today we ask for your help to raise money to help Cynthia our niece with funeral expenses for their sweet angel Nyla and to help with medical costs as Larry heals in hospital care. She is a stay-at-home mom and cared for Nyla every day while Larry was the sole income source for their family. Please pray for the Lawal slash Luna slash Zamora family in these difficult moments. We thank you in advance, God bless. The mangled remains of the vehicle were ushered away from the crash site as concerned neighbors grappled with the tragedy which unfolded near their homes. Nearly a year ago, a toddler who was reportedly not wearing a seatbelt also died after she was thrown from a car that ran a red light and crashed, landing on top of her. Witnesses at the scene in Waco, Texas lifted the car off three-year-old Annalise Renee Nava and began life-saving measures on the child in May 2023, police said. But despite their best efforts, the little girl could not be saved and died from her injuries at a nearby hospital. Waco police said in a Facebook post that the unsecured three-year-old girl was thrown from the car and it landed on top of her. The driver of the Chevy Lumina ran a red light at the intersection of South 17th Street and Clay Avenue and crashed into another vehicles, which sent both into a third vehicle, police said. The toddler, who was unsecured, police said, was ejected from the Lumina, which the 